It was a heartbreaking goodbye in Granger this week. That 18-month-old girl who fell from a cruise ship on vacation with her family in Puerto Rico was laid to rest Monday. Dozens of officers attended to honor their co-worker, Chloe Wiegand's father, each of them carrying a single carnation. And one of them holding a hand-drawn sketch of that little girl. And new this morning here on CBS4, the Wiegands are talking publicly for the first time about this unthinkable situation. Let's go to CBS4's Angela Brower, who listened to that interview. And Ange, really a, a tough one to get through. It was, Frank. Very emotional. South Bend police officer Alan Wiegand and his wife Kimberly talked exclusively to the Today Show, saying they are wholeheartedly blaming that cruise company and that they plan to hold Royal Caribbean accountable in court. Chloe Wiegand, as Frank just mentioned, died two weeks ago while vacationing in Puerto Rico. They were near a water park on that ship when it happened. Her grandfather had reportedly sat her on a ledge to let that little girl bang on the glass window, not knowing the window was unlocked and open. She goes to bang on the glass and the next thing he knows she's gone. Gone because Chloe fell 11 stories to her death. During the emotional interview this week, the Wigan family told NBC News that there were, quote, a million things that cruise ship could have done to prevent their daughter's death. Now, Frank, I think the most heart-wrenching moment came when Kimberly, that mom, explained that she didn't realize Chloe had fallen out of the window. She said, quote, I just kept saying, take me to my baby. Where is my baby? She said she ran over that there wasn't any water, but rather concrete. Quote, to lose our baby this way was just unfathomable. Mm. Yeah, I think all of us uh, stunned, hurt. Uh, it's just in yeah. incredible. So where does the investigation stand right now? So Royal Caribbean sent out a statement recently saying in part, quote, we are deeply saddened by this incident. Our hearts go out to the family. The company says it is cooperating with the investigation. Meanwhile, the Puerto Rico Department of Justice said their part of this is in its, quote, advanced stages, so they couldn't comment any further. But Frank attorneys say that this truly appears to be a tragic accident, that there was no criminal wrongdoing involved.